I served in the military for 22 years. I retired from the Navy um, in 2004. Several reasons. One was the, to serve the country, to serve the nation, and the opportunity to travel. And I thought the Navy would take me to more places around the world, which it did. And also to complete my education, my college education. Um, they, the Navy fortunately allowed me to um, get both a bachelor's degree and a master's degree, and I was able to use the Navy's tuition assistance. I've always been fascinated with the ocean, sailing the ocean, sailing around the world, visiting different countries, port visits, the history of the Navy from the revolutionary period up to more modern times. So the Navy was just kind of appealing to me and being here from the Chesapeake Bay region, growing up on the water and ancestors that worked the water, the Chesapeake Bay, all that nautical history just was real appealing to me. Everything from seeing them achieve their goal of whatever educational goal that is, the, the degree plan they, they pursue and achieve, and seeing them walk across the stage at commencement, seeing them get the job, the career that they dreamed of after getting their education. So certainly that has affected me. And then just some of their stories, their, their personal life stories, their stories of their military service, where they've been and what they've done. the number of veterans who have come through our doors here on campus. I started here in 2006, and I think in the database we have over 13, 1,400 veterans who have taken classes at Warwick, um, the credit classes, non-credit classes, just uh, many, many different types of educational um, um, goals and achievements that they've had. So I see each of them individually and collectively as an accomplishment, and certainly the um, recent uh, Veterans Upper Bound grant that our college received. We're just one of 64 colleges in the country that have received this grant, so that's an excellent opportunity to expand education benefits for veterans, regardless of when they served. And, of course, the Veteran Military Lounge that we're sitting in now, that's a gift from our president and Warwick to our Veteran Military students. And as you can see behind me, it's already being well used and well received. And um, so I see that um, all of those things as accomplishments for our veteran students and military students.